Well, hello everyone. Enter Gardner here, back with another episode of Carmelo's Pizza Tier One. Now, I know at the end of last episode, if you didn't watch it to the end, go and watch it. Go watch it. Come on. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave this part in my setup because I know there are people who like this type of content. They they like seeing me set things up. Um, because it gives them ideas of how and like I you know I always explain my processes of why I do it a certain way. Um, so I, I like, I like doing that. Like my, my normal startup for a run like this is always exactly the same. Um, well, I should say, okay, I don't want to say it's exactly the same, but it's exactly the same. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, we have two sets of two here. All good. What we can do in the beginning is we'll turn all this off. We can leave those two on and we'll leave these two on down here. That way they're kind of separate. We'll do this, 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 and this. We'll put this here, the calling phone. We'll put this here because that way we can put a loaf of bread right there, right? Oh, we have to. Ooh, we have to toast the bread though. Ooh, okay. We'll just put that there as a placeholder, I guess. Uh, so we have onion pizza, we have Chad's pizza, and then we also have. Um, ooh, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. Then we can't actually do the trick where we put that in there though, because we have to wash the dishes. So there you go. All right, so what I want to do is I think we'll do it like this. Because what we'll do is eventually we'll do the bread. The bread will sit here. Oh, I hate having that like that. And then we'll do that like that. And then we're going to have, I think maybe we'll do it down here. We have this, this, and then that. And then have, I don't know if this is going to be, this is going to work or not. This and this. So I like early on, I like having things compact as possible. I, just, I don't know. I just like having it like that. I don't know why. I think I will put. The cheese actually sit here um, because we're only going to need one of each. We're speaking of one of each. We, we need to have places to put that stuff. So I think we'll do it like this. Yeah. So we have cheese pizza here, onion pizza here. We can have the bread pizza, the bread, the bread pizza, the bread sitting here. And then we can toast the bread as we need it. I hate this, the nips like that. I mean, there we go. Okay. We don't need this. Shouldn't. This will be not doing any research for a couple days at least. So let's just keep everything real clean. Let's just make it real clean here. We don't have to, of course, but let's just make it clean. Now, because we have two groups, you know how we do it, right? Because if you have as many or fewer groups than you have tables, you call everybody. Now, we're only going to make six coins. Sorry, there. <clears throat> Fixing my shirt. Six coins, which is not a lot. But it's more than zero coins, right? All right. So we got to do the pizzas. We have to do the bread. We have a lot to do. This is why another reason why I didn't want to do instant ordering. But let's check the cards real quick. We have breakfast, which is our variety card. We have pizza. We have, well, cheese pizza. Charming is good. We have onion pizza, of course. We have Victorian, which free card. Doesn't do anything. Variety, well, it just gives us our, our, our breakfast. Sedate doesn't do anything for us. And then communion. If you remember the end of last episode, you may, if you didn't watch it, watch it. Because I explained how you force cards by using the card manager. Um, I really only ever use it to force like the community card because this is a generic, this is a regular my Oxford map, this is the uh, country setting, and that doesn't give you the community card. You usually have to take the autumn map type, which is in those were the days mods, I think, um, unless it's part of the vanilla game, I don't remember anymore, and that gives you all only food cards, but also larger groups. I don't want to do that. Now, typically, if you have larger groups, you want to take food cards because it reduces how many groups you have. But anyway, we're going to do the community community card. So that creates the group size increase by one every three days or every 10 days in overtime. So we have to work on getting plates. We have to work on getting tables. It's, it makes it difficult. It's not like a walk in the park um, until you get later on in the, in the run where you're like, okay, I have everything I need. I don't really need anything else. But sorry, my freaking chair is annoying the crap out of me today. <laughs> hey, we, we keep it real here at Ontario land. Anyway, let's just... Uh, Let's just do it. Nothing really to, to talk about. Let's get this going first. Do that. That. Having little things automated here will be helpful for sure. I'm gonna do all this. Do this. Put that in, put this down here. Now I may not actually, oh, I got a call. Why didn't I call? You dummy. Okay, I'm not, I don't want to say I'm dummy. That's, that's mean. Don't call yourself stupid, everybody. Don't do that. It's not nice to put yourself down. 
And I don't even know if I even need this. Okay, we literally have two customers. So one of these three things we are not gonna need. So we don't need um, onion pie. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind calling and then, but it would be nice if we get a little extra. So we basically made 26 coins today, but we do get a player count bonus. Um, so that will kick in. I like where the door placement is here as well. Sorry for the running around upstairs. My son is here. And we got booking desk. So yeah, we made uh, 20 coins today. Wow. Mm, so we're going to do the, our normal setup here. Now, I don't follow meta. For anybody that says like, oh, you should do the meta of like taking this and copy. Like, I find that stupid. Sorry. I find that stupid. So... That's how you want to play. Guess what? You can play that way, but don't force it. I see people in the Discord saying, this is the way you got to do it, especially new players. New players say, oh, how do you start research? Do this, 10 steps, and you get it. You, you'll have you'll have two you'll have two research deaths by day 10. No, man, come on. Like, just let people freaking play how they want. That's my biggest thing with this game. Let people play how they want. Uh, so actually, we do it like this because um, we turn that one back on and we turn this off. Okay, so now we have two, two, and two. Uh, the phono we have to do something else with, which I mean honestly, we don't actually have to keep all this stuff. I think this tight together. I think this is actually fine as well. Uh, yeah, because we have three groups, we have three tables. So I want to call everybody. Okay, because money, honey, is money, honey. If that makes sense, which it doesn't. There we go. We have some larger groups now. This should be done in three, two, one. Done. Put the Chez pizza in. Done. It's just prepping the beginning of the day. But look at the look at the percentages. Like we're not we're not struggling at all. What's the lowest percentage we have? Ninety one. Wow, ninety one percent. Yeah. Anyway, I don't, I don't mean to harp on the whole meta crap. I think I just I. If you try to min-max the game too much, it's like, bro, seriously? I just want it done. Personally, my opinion, if that's how you like to play, play it that way. But for someone who's played this game for over two years now, I find doing things like that are, they take the fun out of games. Especially if people, some of them like to, they min-max the game, right? Where it's like, I need to have 100% efficiency. And it's like, seriously? Even games like Factorio and Satisfactory and all those like automation type games, like you can do perfect ratios and this and that. And I understand the reason why, but sometimes getting it to like the T is like seriously. If that's what you like, cool. But man, alive. All right, another BB. What's a BB? I'm gonna say breakfast bar. Oh, we can't afford the table. That's okay. So we're still fine here. Now, the thing is, though, with this is like, okay, what are we looking for? Like some automating, yes, like automating the chopping of these three things, especially the sauce. Yes, of course. Uh, safety hobs, portioners. Yes. But like, but we could use this stuff early on, too. Right. So I think getting a blueprint desk, I still think is the best option. We don't have I mean, because you can still you can call on a blueprint desk. It's not that you, you're it's illegal to call. It just may not be the best choice. You know? All right, since my rant of metas and crap is done, we will continue on. Should be able to get this whole pie ready to go. Yep, and then put that here. Oh, no, because you have to... Well, I mean, you could do that trick. You could do that trick, Rick. By putting the um, the oil in the sink. You could, because we we're not doing dishes. Yet. Yet, yet. And now you can start cooking this, by the way, and then pull it back out. Oh, wait, maybe you can't. Oh, yeah, you can, because it's not... Yeah, until I'm like, oh, no, it's not going to work. Yeah, it does work. It works, baby. There we go. Uh, what do you guys want, pizza or bread? Maybe you want bread or red? See, one good thing here is, like, the pizza's already cooked, right? So we don't have to, like, cook it and then you portion it, you know what I mean? Nope, that's not what I wanted. <sighs> like, what the heck? What I'm going to do is go like this. Do RS. RS research. 
Hooper and Death would be nice. I mean, if we don't get one, I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, I'm gonna be a copy Death, so that's fine. We're gonna go CBD, copy, blueprint, discount, back to copy. We wanna talk about a, not a meta, but a thing that I've coined that everybody uses is CBD, copy, blueprint, discount. I coined that term, so give me a like. Or no, give me a subscribe if you're new to the channel. Here we go. I think we gotta keep going like low customers, right? We go so mashed. Why not? All right, we're back to two groups now. So let's go back to. Um, I can put this one down here, I think, to give us three. And I can just turn this one back on. There we go. That's fine. We're going to have a pot and we're going to have this. So we're still only dealing with the mixer. So that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit tricky. Or not the mixer, the, the one oven. So I almost, hmm. I almost want to buy the hob. Because we're not going to buy this, right? We're going to wait. I almost want to buy the hob. Because that way we can at least get the potatoes on. And I don't have to, ooh, what does this do? Increased eating patience. I think that's when you, what patience is that then? I'm trying to think what patience that actually is. Okay, well then all we gotta do then is just do this. No, 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 all we gotta do, we just gotta do this. Put the oil over here. That's fine, there, fine. And this is easy anyways, boom, boom, then we gotta mix it. And then can I afford a table? I can, I'm gonna buy the tables. Cause we will need them, trust me, we will need the tabulas. Uh, I can just turn these off, not that it matters. We still have two groups, right? So you don't make a lot of money, but it's not as, well. I don't want to say it's not as difficult because it kind of is too. All right, let's, uh, we're still going to call. We're going to call everybody because why not? I'm not, a, I'm not a chump. I'm not a chump change. Get that going on there. Three, two, one, done. Pop that in there. Pizzas cook a lot faster, of course. You can't chop on there, though, so we just chop here. And then what we can do, yeah, what we could do is we could just put, uh, we should just put this in here. Are we even going to hit eighty percent on the on the patients more? Probably on the patients bar, probably not, right? Here we go, and we can actually put the other pie right up top there. There you go. Check that out. All right. Ready to go. This one for you. This one for you. And then do you have any mash? Of course we got freaking mash. Of course we got the freaking mash. One. Two. And then we'll just hold off. Do that. Do this. Do a chez. Oh, crap. I got to do my research. So we're just going to hold off on this for a second. Plenty of time. Won't even hit 50%. Yeah, barely hit 60. All right. Blueprint test. So now we have to be a little careful, like I said, about the calling, right? Um, because right now we're going to be getting five coins per ring. So tomorrow's also deco day, which I don't know if we're going to really mess with decorations right now. So we can buy this and that's it. <laughs> that's it. I do want to put this here. And what we'll do is we'll turn that on and we'll just do that. Picture groups are still two. Group size two, three. So, I mean, I don't think we're, we're going to get to the whole thing about, um, I think I want to try to get a dishwasher. No, 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 you know what I wanted to know? No, 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 no. I think early on is getting mashed potatoes. Is getting a freezer for the mashed potatoes. I think that's more key for us right now. So yeah, we're not going to call until I lock in something. So it kind of stinks, but if I hit it one time, it'll do that. Perfect. Like that, it'll do that. So let's just hope we get something that we want. Come on. Just trying to wait here. It doesn't matter where we put the three things, by the way. 
that on. And yes, you do. Um, I think we'll take the portioner. So we get a, I'm not a free ring. You'll take a portioner this time. Perfect and perfect. All right, good. And let's get these guys out first because there's just two of them. That one here. You got to do with the mash the taters. Mary Brown's chicken and taters. That's a that's a store like a KFC up here. Is Mary Brown's chicken and the taters? Also Church's chicken. There's KFC. There's a lot of like chicken places up here. Um, I don't really care for it. Popeyes. I've honestly I've never had a good experience with Popeyes. Like I have like oh, I'm gonna go get like the 18 piece bucket and eat it over three days or four days and blah blah blah. And then like I get it and I start eating and I'm like, this stuff sucks. <laughs> like it's just not good. I don't know if I should try to get some of their other types of things or something. Like I don't know. Should be able to do this in time. Yeah, we're fine. I don't know. Like and then these other places like Church's Chicken and like. I'm sure Jolly Bees up here, but like Church's Chicken and all that. That's a freezer, by the way. And all these other ones, it's like, it's, I mean, fast food is so, I got so expensive. I got Wendy's the other day. Just like a double, it's like 14 bucks. If I go to, if I go to get an Arby's sandwich, like, yeah, I think even Arby's is a better deal. It's like 16 bucks or 18 bucks, but you get a whole half pound. Like, it's just like, oh my God. So remember on Deco Days, you don't actually get to pick what Deco you want. Uh, I'm going to buy the freezer 1 million percent. So what we'll do is we'll put the freezer here. We'll put this here. One million percent for the freezer. I hate that it does that. Because and then we'll put the portioner in here. We're not going to upgrade it. <clears throat> We're just going to put it in here. Do you have any types of floor? We only have one flooring. And do we have any regular wallpaper? We don't. It's all the, the crap. See when is? Well, I guess not. Because like with Deco Day, the, the reroll should be free. Like for this stuff should be free, but. Whatever. It's, it doesn't matter. It's decorations. They don't mean anything. Actually, it doesn't do anything if we turn it that way. Okay, so we had three groups now again. So we're going to leave it. I'm not going to mess with getting another set of three tables. Um, I don't think we actually have enough space to do that anyway. So we'll keep buying tables. Because uh, our groups will dance around. Like, it'll go... Like, after today, we're going to get another card. If we take a food card, it'll drop back down to three. Or back down to two. Um, and also because our group sizes go up, so it may drop down to two then. So we'll dance around between probably two and three groups up to day 12 or so, and then it'll start going up. Uh, again, nothing's changed. We're going to do the same thing we always did, so let's just do it. Uh, well, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted, so that's good. Put this in here. Well, actually, I can't keep it in there. Um, Why well, am I doing the plate? can't keep it in there forever, though, because I have to... Um, I gotta put the, I gotta do the dishes and think of that. That's okay. And then, can you chop in there? You cannot. So we'll, we'll put this back here because we're not gonna need it here now. Okay, it's not a big deal doing it like this either. There's this one. I'm gonna get the other one made. American made. We did lock in what we wanted. that there okay we'll do because the mash is going to be great and we also have the count up or the count down or the whatever you want to call it uh, mod so it tells us how many portions we have left of something and that's going to be excellente all right we got hey all pizzas pizza pie pizza pie that's one hope we don't have to make like another freaking pizza that would be kind of crappy nope oh, we're good mashed potatoes One of each. We still will have we'll have time to do our research too, don't worry. Oh right, we're not actually doing research because this is a portioner. We just can't afford it. Oh yeah, crap, I gotta do dishes. Oh yeah, I wanna call too, because we, we have we got, hey we got one ring at least. They can sit outside, it's not gonna hurt them. Because yeah, charm and tier three buff, don't do dishes, yeah, but we're not we're not anywhere near that yet. I can leave this alone. Now, the only thing we might have to do is if we have to make another Chez Pie, which would be super annoying. No, we don't. Awesome. It's just annoying because it takes a while. It's not like making a piece of toast. It'd be like having to make a whole another loaf, right? Yeah, right. No research today because we're going to keep the portioner. I don't know if we had to buy the portioner. Um, we'll see. All 
Okay. Group size are back down to two. And, ooh. Pro process progress is hidden. That's not terrible. Hmm. I really don't want extras, but we have the tomato already. I really don't want extras, though. I think that's too difficult unless we have it automated. So I think we'll go blindfolded. I think that's going to be fine. Fine as wine. This can be a table of four, and then we can make this a table of four and just put this here and put the phone right here. So that's fine. Do that. Table of four, table of four. Uh, hopefully we get a... Oh, we didn't get a table. What? You get a, a BPC. Now, we could probably... I think what we'll do is we'll buy the portioner. And then we can just... I think maybe we, maybe we have to start expanding some of this stuff a little bit here. All right, so actually this hob... And the potato stuff we don't actually need right now. So what we'll do is let's put, move that out of the way until we run out of potatoes. We don't need this. So what we can do is we can put this back here. Um, and then how do we want to do it? I can't believe we can get a table. That sucks. Stinks. I think we do want to try to get a safety hob eventually. And then, yeah, let's go work on a dishwasher maybe. Or, or we could try to get another freezer, another freezer. No, I think I want to go dishwasher because we have to start doing dishes again. Somewhat. Yeah. Okay, cool. So the onion, I wish we could put the onion somewhere else. You know, I think we can probably start expanding some of this. If we put this here, this can go here. And what we'll do is we can put, we can put the bread here. Then we can cook it like that. And then we can use this for other things. I think this is fine. Kind of a bit wonky, but it'll work. I don't need to worry about cornering because it's we don't have to do dishes today. You know, we, we got percentages are hidden. That's the only thing we got, right? So let's, uh, how are we on time? Um, yeah, we can squeeze one more day out. This one, this one in here. And then what we'll do is I can put this in here now. This one, do that and put it down here. All right, it's hidden. So I don't, I don't like that. But it doesn't really affect things too much. As you can see, it's not really doing anything negative. Those portioners are nice. I don't want a portioner, though. I don't need one for the pizza yet. Probably would like to start just keep getting more. The only thing that's annoying is like this keeps doing this, even though it stopped portioning. You know what I mean? You know what? Let's just do our research while we wait because we only have two groups yeah safety hob would be nice because then we could slightly start getting automated um toast yeah we can all we need is a grabber all right we got dishwasher also we didn't get a safety hob though okay um i kind of just want to call no well, that was kind of pointless then okay well it's not pointless not pointless this one can go here and I, I can start serving. I think we're, I think it's safe to say we can just start serving. It is we're having a, a safety hob would be great. Whoops. And here we want two breads. So here I'll probably wait a little bit. So I don't wanna, it's, it's a bit tricky. Cause you don't have the bread ready to go. That one would do. Oh, we want a Chez. Trainers would be nice because because if you don't have if you're not using a hob, yeah. Well, there's messes here because of the way this is. But we'll get another table hopefully today. Yeah, this day basically took three minutes. So like you you buzz through them pretty quickly. Well, yeah, because we're at day seven already, and this is still the first episode. All right. Table definitely table. Definitely a table for sure. And then what we means is I can also put a counter back here. Just as an extra little something, something, something. Speaking of that, we got a dishwasher. Do we buy? I can't I can't afford either of these. So um I wanna I don't want to upgrade the dishwasher. I just want to leave it alone. But I do want to upgrade, <clears throat> excuse me, this. So on this, I think another research desk would be nice. That way we can try to get a, a copy desk and then get a discount desk if we can. Maybe not. 
Um, but we definitely want to get a safety hob, a grabber or a conveyor belt would be great because if we could have auto toast done, because all we do basically is you'd have a counter back here, right? With the toast on it or the bread on it. You'd have the portioner here, you'd have a grabber here and you have the safety hob here. So it's pretty, you know, pretty easy. Um, cause I think that's going to be more important to automate than any of the pizza type stuff. I think at least. Okay, I think we're good. What I should actually do is put the cheese here to put this stuff closer together. I don't have to run as far. Maybe what I'll also do is bring um, another counter here. Because we need stuff, we need places to put things, right? But what we're going to do, guys, we're actually going to end it here. I want to thank you guys for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode, tier one, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. We much appreciate it. And if you're joining this series, we're back on tier one, like I just said. Or if you like any other video on my channel, Hit that subscribe button, take the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And as always, guess what? Catch you guys next time. I could eat some pizza right now. Oh man, some good pizza. Guess what? I don't know. At the time of the recording of this video, um, I will be going down to Pennsylvania where I'm from my family um, over Easter holiday. I'm, excited. I'm not sure when this is going to come out. And I'm going to be having some good local pizza, maybe a calzone, some cheese fries, a nice big cheese steak, some ring bologna, some deer meat. Some deer bologna jerky. I can't wait. My mouth is watering. All right, guys. Do you like any of that type of stuff? Do you? I mean, I'm not a hunter. I used to hunt. Um, nothing against people who don't like hunting or do like hunting. I'm just saying I used to hunt. I used to have deer bologna and jerky. And oh, my God. I could tell stories about that forever. Oh, good old days, man. The good old days. And those days are gone. <laughs> All right, guys. Catch you next time.